Good morning everyone uh, from the team at Hope Catering. Today we're going to make a chunky vegetable soup, ideal for this time of, of year and the weather and also as a nice winter warmer. As you can see this can utilise and use up all of your old vegetables. Um, you can put in it what you like, don't like. We've got some onions, carrots, Swede, parsnips that are now looking as if they've seen their better days and then some tomatoes. So anything you like can go in there really. Any of your leftover bits and pieces or if you want to make it. Um, so we're going to start and um, if you get a decent sort of pan or any pan because we're only going to simmer it anyway. Um, so we're going to start off with an onion. As I say it's quite a simple recipe as you can see, our onion's going on that one. You can do a chunky one, or if you like it smoother, you can always pick it right down. Take all your peel off, and just take your ends off your onions. I'm just gonna show one today, but we're gonna do some more so that we can get through. And roughly chop. I would say about a small dice because obviously you want it you don't want too much chunkiness unless you really like chunky onion. So about like that on your onion. Same with your carrots, parsnips, sweet. As you can see these are going over but they're ideal for soup. So you can utilise anything you've got in your cupboard for your soups. That's right. And again, I'm just going to show you one of these. So we're going to peel that down. And again, quite a rough dice. Again, depending on how chunky you like your soup. So I'll sort of say about that for all of your vegetables. We're going to put parsnips, swede, carrots, onions into ours. Um, and then it's literally into a thick bottom pan if you have. A little bit of oil and it's literally all the ingredients go in. So I'm going to carry on and just prep these and then we will come back in five minutes and show you the next process. Welcome back everyone. <coughs> As I will say, this is what we prepared earlier. So we've chopped all the vegetables. As I said, we've got sweet, parsnip, carrots, onions, a bit of oil in the bottom, and we're gonna sweat them off on a low heat with some other ingredients. But first I thought before we go and do that, um, because this is gonna be a tomato-based vegetable soup, um, we've got some tomatoes that are starting to go over, and we have the luxury of a blender. If you haven't got a blender, just some rough roughly chopped to be fine. As I said, this is um, a good wholesome soup, so whether you've got gadgets or haven't, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna blend some. I find it's easier if you cut them down a bit, if they're large. These are large fine on ones that we've got surplus of. <clears throat> Minus the stalks, if we can. <laughs> I've also done um, some vegetable stock cubes. You can use whatever stock you have in the house. Obviously you want to keep this as a vegetarian option. So we've just dissolved some vegetable stock with some hot water to get that ready once the vegetables are sweated off. it just takes the skin and everything you don't need to peel them don't do anything with them put the whole lot in okay so that's our um, tomato or stock I'm just going to take that over to the stove so I'm going to sweat off the vegetables um, so I've got some oil in the bottom of the pan the vegetables and then I'm going to add a bit of salt not too much because you've got the vegetable stock cubes um, again, it's 
whatever you like in there. We quite like quite a bit. So we've got ground pepper, pepper salt pepper, some mixed herbs. Again, you, it's whatever you've got in your cupboard, really. And if you've got some fresh garlic, great. If not, we've got a little bit of garlic powder. And of course, if you want a spicy one, you can add chilies. Again, we tend to use up whatever we have in our fridges here. So pop that in, just give it a bit of a, a stir. And I'd say keep an eye on it on a medium to low heat. Because you don't want them to brown on this occasion, but you want them to get slightly softer. I would say 10 to 15 minutes. Um, And literally just going to leave those to sweat out. Welcome back everyone. This is the vegetables now sweated down. As you can see, they're getting uh, a bit softer. That was about 10 minutes on a low to medium heat. Now I'm going to add the vegetable stock that we sold earlier. Just add that in. And I'll just grab a label, sorry. That looks a bit full, and then I'm going to add quite a bit of the tomatoes. If you haven't got fresh tomatoes left over, obviously tin tomato is absolutely fine. Um, as I said, it's more to utilise up what you have in the in your fridge or stock or your cupboard. Nice 